Hello everyone. In this video, we will be talking about uh, the cartilage and the menisci uh, of the knee. The cartilage of the knee really is a, um, it's a special tissue that's on the end of the bones and essentially it provides a low friction surface for joint motion, mobility, and it also provides uh, some uh, shock absorbing uh, function uh, to help protect uh, the bone uh, from stresses and loading uh, with everyday activities, athletics, etc. The meniscus uh, are two, uh, again, shock absorbing structures uh, separate from the cartilage on the, end, on the ends of the bone in the knee that provide uh, essential shock absorbing protection to the actual cartilage in the knee. In addition to this shock absorbing function, the menisci provide uh, stability to the knee and help protect the knee in that regard as well. So in this video, we will touch on the anatomy of the cartilage, uh, the, the anatomy of the menisci, of which there are two, the medial and lateral uh, meniscus, and hopefully uh, everyone finds this video informative uh, and helpful. So we have our knee model, and we're going to discuss the cartilage and the meniscus to the knee. So the knee joint, of course, involves the thigh bone and the shin bone. Looking first at the thigh bone, you can see that this blue area illustrates the cartilage. In real life, however, the cartilage is uh, a, a healthy cartilage is a bright white and uh, almost the color of the, the base of our model here. But the blue here illustrates this for us. So you can see how the cartilage runs along this area along the bottom part of the thigh, uh, of the thigh bone. The same goes for the shin bone. The shin bone is called the tibial plateau uh, because it's a big flat surface here and the cartilage is right at the top. The other structure on the top of the shin bone is the meniscus. So if this is the lateral side of the knee, this is the lateral meniscus. And if this is the medial side of the knee, this is the medial meniscus. The menisci are attached to the bone in areas called the roots. And so the roots attach to bone in the front and the back for both the lateral and the medial meniscus, attaching to the bone in the front and way here in the back. When you have an injury to the meniscus, you can have an injury anywhere along this structure right here. You can also have an injury at the roots where the meniscus will actually be pulled completely off the bone. The cartilage in the knee is important because it helps provide a nice smooth, uh, uh, nice smooth motion to the knee as we walk and run and do other things like that. It also provides some shock absorbing uh, capacity to the knee. The meniscus does the same thing. So you can see how the meniscus sits in between the thigh bone and the shin bone. And so as we run, as we're jumping, you can imagine how that meniscus or the menisci help protect the knee from that loading across the joint and protecting the cartilage along the joint. The menisci are also really important because they provide buttress to abnormal motion in the, in the knee and help provide stability. So again, you can see how if the knee shifts, you can see how that meniscus sort of provides a little bit of a, bit of a, a chalk block, uh, if you will, to help keep the knee from translating and uh, rotating. One important area of cartilage on the knee is called the patellofemoral joint. Your patella, or your kneecap, is represented right here. It sits in the front of the knee like this. And so you've got your quad muscles, or the muscles of the thigh, up this way. And it attaches down here on your shin bone. And it functions to help straighten the knee by pulling up this way. The, the kneecap has cartilage underneath it, which is represented right here. And if I rotate the model around, you can see how there is this groove on the thigh bone right here. The kneecap fits right into that groove just like this. So hopefully you all can see that where the kneecap sits in the groove just like that. And so this helps provide stability and what we call a congruent joint surface so that the cartilage 
moves, moves nice and smoothly throughout knee motion. So once again, you can see the kneecap sitting there in the front, and this will move back and forth in its groove just like that. The cartilage in this area of the kneecap is some of the thickest cartilage in the body because of the significant amount of load that goes through it 